damn spot. Out, I say. One of the huge problems of the play is that it's famously often hijacked by Lady Macbeth. Oh, come, you spirits that tend on mortal thoughts, unsex me here and fill me from the crown to the toe, top full of direst cruelty. Lady Macbeth, she is just known as the epitome of evil, this battle axe of a possessed, demonic, dark force woman. Come, thick night, and pall thee in the dunnest smoke of hell. I wanted to create a different kind of balance, um, and this is something Taylor and I talked about a lot, to make sure that this production of Macbeth was Macbeth, not Lady Macbeth and some guy she lives with. B. From I have no spur, Ian, whenever you're ready. I have no spur to prick the sides of my intent, but only vaulting ambition, which all leaps itself and falls on the others. How now? What news? He hath almost supped. Her yeah. job is to gear me up to kill the king. You know, he goes through all the reasons why it's a bad idea, and then she shows up and he says, we're not going to do it. We will proceed no further in this business. He hath honored me of late, and I have bought golden opinions from all sorts of people, which would be worn now in their newest gloss, not cast aside so soon. I am using a lot of various types of manipulation to get him to kill the king. The first one is disbelief. I'm saying, are, are you serious? That, you're kidding. And I say these little sarcastic comments. We, so you're gonna, this is what you're gonna do. Okay. Was the hope drunk wherein you dressed yourself? Have it slept since? And then it gets to the point where I say, well, then that's just how you are about your love. From this time, such I account thy love. Oh my God. Art thou afeard to be the same in thine own act and valor as thou art in desire? Wouldst thou have that which thou esteem'st the ornament of life? And live a coward in thine own esteem, letting I dare not wait upon I would. Give thee peace! I dare do all that may become a man who dares do more is not. What beast was then that made you break this enterprise to me? When you durst do it, then you were a man. And to be more than what you were, you would be so much more the man. Okay, hold. Good, very good. It's so good. <laughs> um, the, the one thing on yeah. the... Uh, Thus I account thy love. Yeah. The more you unpack love, the more that okay. still is your whole manhood, <laughs> your whole everything. Right. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yep. A much more interesting story is the story of the woman who loves her husband, who thinks he deserves it all, and hopes that by just doing this one terrible thing, this one time, maybe we can get away with it. I make him see how great he could be, and I believe it. My Lady Macbeth believes that he could be that great. He deserves that. Our job as actors to show the audience is that we actually are a really wonderfully functioning couple and that we can inspire each other to great things. The great things are killing the king. If we should fail... We fail! But screw your courage to the sticking place! And we'll not fail. You have to show that closeness and that bond, that they feel like they can face the world, the two of them against everybody, and they'll be fine. And I'm just looking into his eyes, imagining, treating him, kissing on him, acting like that you would be the most amazing thing. What cannot you and I perform upon the unguarded, Duncan? What's We're trying to make Macbeth man enough to make his own decisions. He doesn't do it because he has this battle axe of a wife making him do it and some creepy witches who said something once. He is responsible for his own doom. I am settled and bend up each corporal agent to this terrible feat away and mock the time with fairest show. False face must hide what the false heart doth know. 